Hi, my name is Diana Hall. I'm from the Forensic Genetic Unit of the University Hospital of Lausanne, and I'm the corresponding author of the article Deep STR, Highly Sensitive Markers for the Analysis of Unbalanced Genomic Mixture. In this article, we propose a novel analytical approach that enables the DNA analysis of samples containing the genome from two individuals in very different proportions. To appreciate the importance of this article, I will give you some background. Our research is focused on developing novel methods for forensic identification purposes. Today is possible the DNA analysis of samples containing only few cells, and by using a limited number of polymorphisms, which are mainly microsatellites, we are capable of distinguishing one individual from another. However, the use of standard marker is not always successful, especially when the biological stain is collected on the body or objects of the victim of an aggression. In this case, the DNA of the perpetrator that we are trying to identify might be mixed to large quantities of the DNA of the victim. And when this ratio passes 1 to, 20, uh, 1 to 20, the major DNA ends up masking the minor DNA because of PCR bias. The problem of DNA mixture resolution is not limited to forensic science. DNA mixtures also occur in vivo, for example, during pregnancy or after solid organ transplant, and those are referred to as DNA microchimeries. Currently, the use of uh, markers located on the Y chromosome and the application of technique of laser capture microdissection can provide solutions, but these are limited to specific cell type and sex mixture. In this article, we provide a novel type of genetic marker that we name Deep STR. This marker is a compound marker which is form of a deletion insertion polymorphism linked physically close to an STR uh, polymorphism. The combined analysis of these two uh, polymorphisms identify Deep STR haplotypes highly variable of about 300 base pairs. Deep polymorphisms are biallelic polymorphisms of a coarse sequence, mostly between 3 and 15 base pairs. This sequence can be either present, determining the allele L, or absent in the allele S. In the human genome, we expect to have several millions of DIPs, and several hundreds are located close to STR markers. In order to target the amplification of the minor DNA, deep STR primers are designed overlapping the deep sequence on one side and downstream the STR sequence on the other side. The primers overlapping the deep sequence are two possible, one specific for the S allele and one specific for the L allele. Let's see how it works with an example. Here we have a DNA mixture where the major DNA, which could be the DNA of the victim, is genotype L5L5 for the deep STR. This is mixed to a small quantity of DNA of the DNA of the perpetrator, for example, which might be S3 and S4. If we analyze this mixture by deep STR primer using the S allele specific primer, we can target the amplification of the minor DNA, even when this is present in less than 0.1% of the mixture. The trick does not work for all possible major and minor DNA genotype. Um, we need to have informative genotype. Uh, therefore, a larger panel of deep STR needs to be employed uh, compared to standard STR marker. In this article, uh, we provide an initial uh, panel of deep STR marker, nine markers we develop. We genotype those uh, on a Swiss population. We tested this marker on clinical sample and we um, tested those also on simulated DNA mixture. To sum up, uh, we propose with this article a new analytical approach, which is 100 times more sensitive than standard um, forensic method. It is not sex specific and it is technically simple. Therefore, uh, we uh, are confident that this research will uh, dramatically impact the fight against crime and will possibly provide the basis for uh, non-invasive prenatal test and organ transplant monitoring. Have a nice reading of the article on human mutation. Thank you.